Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra problem? Find the value of a and b. Here, let's label this as equation 1 and here as equation 2. And uh, from here, let's subtract equation 2 from 1. So we have equation 1. Equation 1 minus equation 2. Then this will give us ab minus ab gone there then a minus b we have a minus b equals to 28 minus 30 that's minus 2 and from here we can bring minus b to this side so as to make a the subject here we have a now equals to minus become plus so that's b then minus 2 let's label this as equation 3 here then in the next step from equation 2 we have a b plus b equals to 30 from equation 2 we have a b plus b to be equals to 30 and uh, from there we have equation 2 a b plus b equals to 30 and from here we substitute a as b minus 2 so we write b minus 2 now we have b minus 2 then times b plus b is equals to 30 and when we open the bracket here we expand multiply by b here so this gives us b times b that's b square then minus 2b then plus b equals to 30 and from here in the next step we add this together minus b plus b that gives us minus 2b plus b that gives us minus b so we have b square minus b equals to 30 then bring my bring 30 here become minus 30 and we have b square minus b minus 30 equals to zero this form a quadratic equation that we can factorize and this will give us b square minus 6b plus 5b minus 30 equals to 0. Because here minus 6b plus 5b will give us minus b. And also when we multiply it, we get minus 30. And group these two to now and factor what is common. b is common here. We have b left here then minus 6. Then also from these two we have plus 5 common. We have b minus 6 equals to 0. So b minus 6 is common here. We factor it out. We have b minus 6. Then multiply by. We are left with b here. Then plus 5 here. Then equals to 0. So two cases here. See that we have b minus 6 equals to 0. Or we have b plus 5 equals to 0. So from here, b is equals to 6. And here, b is equals to minus 5. Then to get a, we can use equation 3 that we have. a equals to b minus 2. From equation 3, we have equation 3 as a equals to b minus 2. So when we use that here, to find the value of a then from here this will become b is 6 so we have a equals to 6 minus 2 and here a equals to 4 then on this side as well using this a equals to b minus 2 so we have a will now be equals to b that's minus 5 minus 2 so a here will be minus 7 then we have the set of solutions from here we write the solutions out in form of a comma b so a b the first set will give us a is 4 and b is 6 so we have 4 comma 6 and also next we have a b also equals to a is minus 7 and b is minus 5 
and here we have these two set of solutions to this our uh, problem thank you for watching please subscribe and also share this video turn on the notification bell and then give it thumbs up see you next class and bye for now